Blessed a hundredfold The cross of Jesus Christ In our holy shores It's now five hundred years Awesome to behold He has made us all new We belong to His fold The gospel is our blessing But also our mission To the poor and the children We bring His salvation To the rest of the world His message of compassion To all of humanity His challenge of conversion We are blessed We are loved We are called We are sent Welcome, dear sisters and brothers. In a few moments, you will join our online Mass. It is sad that during this pandemic, this is our temporary way of worshiping the Lord and gathering as a community. Nonetheless, as you join our online Mass, join the songs, the responses, the prayers, with your body, with your mind, with your heart, and with your soul, as if you were inside the church. And during the act of spiritual communion, pray from your heart. Pray for the time when you will truly and sacramentally receive Jesus in Holy Communion at Mass. Let's pray for that time when we were when we will really be together in the church. And thank you 
for making Greenbelt Landmark Chapel your spiritual home. Thank you for your support to the chapel, for your mass intentions, your love offerings, your donations to our charities. Despite the economic difficulties, we continue to help and extend our Lava Parish program because we trust in the generosity of God and we trust in your generosity. You are all channels of God's grace and love. And thank you. But I also invite you to be a channel of the good news. As we begin this online Mass, like and share Invite and encourage your family and friends to follow our Greenbelt or Landmark Chapel Facebook pages and subscribe to our YouTube channel of Greenbelt Chapel. Share this online Mass and other evangelization programs of the chapel. Who knows what you share will touch and change people's lives, especially during this pandemic. Be a channel of God's grace. Be a channel of God's love. Be a channel of God's good news. Welcome to Greenbelt and Landmark Chapel. Announcement. In celebration of the 150th year since the apparition of Mary, Mother of Hope, in Poma, France, Mother of Hope images are available for sale at 500 pesos. Mother of Hope rosaries are also available for 150 pesos at the chapel office during weekdays or at the booth outside on weekends. However, if, you're, if you buy them in bundle, you may have it for only 600 pesos. Thank you. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is October 2, 2021, and we are on the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider for this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is Reverend Father Marty Marcelo. Please stand and let us join in singing our entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, we are gathered as one community of believers, joining the offering of Christ of himself to the Father. We are called to worship, called to give thanks, called to love one another, 
inasmuch as we have been loved by God. In the readings for the day, we shall be hearing about the admonition to strengthen our relationships with God and with one another, the commitment to become God, to be like God, especially in our treatment of each other. And so to make ourselves less unworthy to receive Jesus in this sacrament, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, and on earth peace, peace to, to people, people of, of goodwill. goodwill. We praise, we praise you, you, we bless, we bless you, you, we adore, we adore you, you, we glorify you, we give, give you thanks for your, your great glory. glory. Lord, God, Lord God, Heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, Christ Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lord God Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take, you take away the sins of the world, have, have mercy on us. You take, you take away the sins of the world, of the world. receive our, our prayer. You are, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, of the Father. have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen to the word of the Lord. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all wild animals, but none proved to be the suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. 
the Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one flesh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, he for a little while was made lower than the angels, that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. For it was fitting that he, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the leader to their salvation perfect through suffering. He who consecrates and those who are being consecrated all have one origin. Therefore, he is not ashamed to call them brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now honor the Holy Gospel. Together, if we love one another, God remains in us, and His love is brought to perfection in us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees approached Jesus and asked, Is it lawful for a husband to divorce his wife? They were testing him. He said to them in reply, What did Moses command you? They replied, Moses permitted a husband to write a bill of divorce and dismiss her. But Jesus told them, Because of the hardness of your hearts, he wrote you this commandment. 
But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. And for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. In the house, the disciples again questioned Jesus about this. He said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. And people were bringing children to him that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Amen, I say to you, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. Then he embraced them and blessed them, placing his hands on them. Dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, sisters and brothers. To our sisters and brothers joining us virtually, the communities of Santo Nino de Paz, Greenbelt Chapel, Mary Mother of Hope, Landmark Chapel, Villa San Miguel Chapel community, and to all of you who are in this Holy Mass, a blessed afternoon as well. Dear children of God, Sino sa inyo ang in love? Taas ang kamay ang mga in love. Huwag na kayo mahiya. Kung wala, di wala. Okay. Sa so mga kapatid natin virtually, just Pusuan nyo lang. Sige lang. This reflection, this evening, if there would be a title to it, I will call it How to Fall in Love. Dahil yung mga pagbasa ngayon, alala umbaga, para baga tayong nasa sakramento ng kasal. So yung mga ikinasal, perhaps nabalik tanawan ninyo yung pagbasa nung kayo ay kinasal. All the readings pertain to that relationship between a man and a woman, a husband and wife. But this calls for all of us, married or unmarried, all of us are called to look at our love life. Kaya ngang apil ko ngayon, ang ang direction ko ngayon ay para sa inyo mga puso na gisingin muli sa uri ng pagmamahal na dapat mayroon tayo. Kaya nga ang tanong ko kaagad, sino sa inyo ang in love? Kasi this should be our our constant situation. May pandemya man o wala, may paghihirap man o kaginhawahan, dapat lagi kang nagmamahal. The problem with love as we now know it is that it has become too much romanticized. Na kapag ka tinanong ka, umiibig ka ba, biglang ang ano ka agad ay, Uy! Grabe naman. Pag sinabi bang, pagka ikaw ba'y tinatanong kung nagmamahal ka, romantic side ka agad. 
our concept of love nowadays becomes also naging commercialized. So much so na kapag dumarating Valentines, birthdays, anniversaries, the love becomes equated with a gift. Yung external gift. Wherein we have forgotten that the original gift that has been given to you sa so, sino mang mayroong minamahal na in, o iniirog o sinisinta o may asawa, the very first gift of love is none other than the person whom you love it herself or himself. Love nowadays, aside from being commercialized, romanticized, many times, love just becomes a word. Salita na lang. It becomes so cheap na ang dali-dali na lang sabihin, love you. Love ya. Casual na lang eh. Where in fact, it has a deeper meaning evoked. Not so much by the emotions. Not so much about that, that understanding in the mind. But the truth about love is that it is God Himself who is love. Far from being too religious about it, love is the very identity of God. Hence, kaya nga, sabi nga sa mga sa gospels, di ba? God is love. And love is of God. Huwag nating baluktutin. Huwag nating, huwag nating palitan. The original cause, the original meaning of love is none other than God Himself. That is why we learn to love because we came from God. Our identity, our being, nagmula tayo sa Diyos. Kaya nga, love cannot be but create. Powerful ang pagmamahal because it has the capacity to create. In as much as God who is love is the creator. Pansin nyo? Pag umiibig ka, may nililikha. Ang tunay na pagmamahal, nag-uusbong ng bagong nilikha. Which is why, punta na natin mga pagbasa. Sa second reading, doon palang pinakita sa atin, kung itong Diyos na nagmamahal, kung itong Diyos na tinatawag nating pagmamahal, sino ang larawan ng Diyos na ito? Walang iba kundi si Jesus. Jesus showed us the image of God who is love. Jesus becomes the person of love. Sumangatawang tao ang Diyos na siyang pagmamahal. Sa larawan ni Jesus, nakilala natin ang Diyos na mapagmahal. He became little less than angels. That by the grace of God, He might taste death for everyone. Ito yung unang niyakap ng Diyos para sa atin. Para makaroon ng katawan ang pag-ibig na walang iba kundi ang Diyos. Una ng niyakap, yung ating kahinaan, yung ating pagiging tao, yung ating karupukan, yung ating kamatayan. Kaya maunawaan yung sinasabi ni Jesus, there is no greater love than for a person to lay down his life for his friend. Ang ialay ang buhay para sa kapwa. That's the greatest love. To die to oneself and offer that life to the other. Hindi ba't ganun ang nangyayari kapag ka mayroong nagmamahalan? Remember the words of the first reading. Ano kagad ang simula ng unang pagbasa? It is not good for man to be alone. Kailangan may kapares. Kailangan may kasama. Kailangan may kaagapay sa buhay. Because love creates. Love gives up itself. Love sacrifices itself so that love might come alive. Yun ang ginagawa. 
Kaya nga nakakalikit, kaya nga, kaya nga maiintindihan mo talaga. Marugdob at tunay ang pagmamahal kapag ka nagsusubside yung sarili. It is not so much about the self anymore. It becomes about the other. Tungkol na ito ngayon doon sa minamahal mo. Kaya nga mga mag-asawa, di ba? Yun yung unang kilig nyo eh. Nando doon yung unang kilig. Nung sa sinabihan ka, handa na ako magsimula ng buhay. Handa na ako na isuko yung aking pagiging binata, yung aking pagiging dalaga. Bagong simula. May isinusuko nang sa gayon may bagong ma- 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 masimulan. That's how powerful and creative love is. Na so much so, ang pangunawa natin na ito, napapalitan. Nagsisimula na ron bigla sa sarili lang. No. Love, for it to become true, it must become selfless. It is not about you anymore. It's about that someone na gusto mong bigyan ng bagong buhay, bagong kahulugan. Kaya nga hinugot sa tadyang eh. Ang babae, hindi mas mababa kaysa sa laki, hindi. Ang kahulugan ng pagkahinugot ka sa tadyang, pareho kayo ng pinagmulan. You are co-equal. Kung may iintindihan ito ng, 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 ng babae at lalaki, sa pagsasama pa lang, kung uunawain ninyo kung bakit kayo kinuha para sa isa't isa, iisa ang inyong pinagmulan. Iisa ang inyong kakayanan. Compatible kayo. Kaya nga doon, no? Kaya nga anong bulalas ka agad ni Adan? Ah, sa wakas. Hindi ito kamukha nung hayop na lagi ko inaalagaan. Hindi siya tuta. Hindi siya pusa. Kapwa-tao. Kagaya ko. Buto ng aking buto. Laman ng aking laman. Kaya nga hindi mo sasaktan. Hindi mo lolokohin. Hindi mo pagsasamantalahan. Kasi kagaya mo rin yan. So magandang balikan natin sa mga merong asawa, sa mga merong iniirog. Ito ba ang pagtingin mo sa kanya? O fulfillment lang ng pangarap mo para meron lang akong maiharap sa altar? Bilang karanasan ko, bilang pare, no? lalo na ako ng bago-bagong palangaw kong pare, meron ako akong tinanggihan na ikasal. Naisumbung ho ako noon sa kardinal. Yung pare na yan! Hindi kami ikinasal. Alam niyo nagsumbong, yung magulang. Hindi naman yung hindi ko ikinasal. Sabi ko, hindi ko kasi kaya ikasal yung mga anak ninyo. Kasi kayo ang may gusto, hindi sila. Bakit nagpupumilit yung magulang? Ay may laman na ang tiyan. Tinanong ko yung mag-asa, yung, yung gusto nila na ipakasal. Mahal niyo ba isa't isa? Baka sakali ho. Eh, andito na ho ito eh. Sayang. Sabi ko nga, sa iba ho kayo, ibang pare ho kunin nyo, pero ako ho hindi. Kasi ayoko ho, na darating ang panahon, magiging kawawa yung bata. Dahil gusto nyo magsama, dahil nandyan. Perhaps I may be wrong. Pero hindi ko hindi kaya na sarili ko na pagsasamahin ko sila na walang tunay na pangunawa sa kanong ibig sabihin ng pagmamahalan. Ang tingin ng dalawang bata, disgrasya daw sila eh. So may mali ka agad. Pero alam ninyo, kaya nga pa- paulit-ulit ko sasabihin, ang pagmamahalan hindi disgrasya. Kung tunay mo nauunawaan ang kahulugan ng pagmamahal, sa sirim, simula pa lang, sesirosohin mo na. Bakit? Kasi ang, umuga, ang ugat nito, Diyos. God is the image of that love. And don't tell me, aksidente ka lang. 
Dahil kung ang pangunawa mo, ang, ang pagmamahal ay disgrasya, nagkataon lang, ikaw ba ay nagkataon lang? Nagkataon lang bang na ikaw ang ipinanganak ng mga magulang mo? Disgrasya ka ba? Hindi. The circumstances may be, but never consider yourself as a disgrace. You are love. You are in created in that image of God who is love. Kaya no matter what the circumstances are, hindi yun yung dapat mong tingnan. Ang tingnan mo ng tunay na kaulogan ng pagmamahal, walang iba kundi ang Diyos ang nagpakita sa iyo nito. Father, produkto ako ng broken family. Alam nyo, ang dami na ngayon yan. Ang dami-dami na ngayon yan. By the late 70s, that's the only time na na-recognize na nagsisimula na ang, ang environment of broken family. Huwag niyong isipin na ngayon lang yan. 1970s pa lang, doon na nag emerge Yung kultura ng broken family. And you know what happens nowadays? Ang kultura natin ngayon towards na sa divorce. Ito na yung kakaharapin ng mga apo nyo, ng mga anak nyo, ng mga bagong kabataan ngayon. Tayo mga nakatatanda, iiwanan natin sila. At anong uri ng kanilang haharapin? Haharapin nila ang kultura ng normal na ang naghihiwalay. Nagsisimula pa lang, maghihiwalay na. What happens to commitment? Nasaan na ang commitment? Kaya nga nung si Jesus tinanong, punta na natin Ibanghelyo. Nung si Jesus tinanong, Lord, okay ba divorce? Lord Jesus did not say kaagad na, oh, pwede na rin. No. He himself said, sa bibig, sa labi ni Jesus nagmula. Whatever God has put together, no man should put asunder. Pero dahil sa katigasan ng ating puso, again, if we look at relationships only as trial and error, ito yung problema sa kultura natin ngayon. Love becomes experiment. Wrong! Relationships should never become an experiment. Love is about decision. Hindi kita susubukang mahalin na kapag hindi tayo nag-click, bye-bye. Hindi ganun. Dahil hindi mo pinaglalaroan ang emosyon ng tao. Hindi mo pinaglalaroan ang pagkatao ng kapwa mo tao. Hindi kailanman dapat pag, paglaruan ang relasyon. Sa simula pa lang, may desisyon ka na dapat. Ikaw yung babaeng pakakasalan ko. Ikaw yung lalaking mamahalin ko. Ano man ang mangyari sa atin, ilalaban natin to. Pero when it becomes uncomfortable, then that's it. Hindi tayo compatible. No wonder, ang gamit natin, bagay tayo. No, hindi kayo bagay. Tao. At times, sisters and brothers, when we, when we start to... to when, bakit nun nagkaroon tayo ng advanced technology, all the more relationships gone, gone astray. What happened to that long-standing values we call commitment? Inexperimental lang ba tayo ng Diyos when we started to exist? Because if our thinking that love can be experimented on, then we are saying that God has played on us. 
But for us to realize that God is love, then love must be true. Love must be pure. Love must be that of God. Kaya nga ang pinakita ng Panginoon ano? Bata. If you cannot welcome this thought like a child, tinan nyo bakit ginamit na naman ni Jesus yung bata? Bakit na naman yung... Pero out of a sudden, di ba? All of a sudden, biglang pumasok na nung bigla, pakita natin yung bata. Why? Anong purpose ng Panginoon? When we accept the kingdom of God like a child, we embrace its innocence. We are, real, we are ready for creativity because that's a child. Creative, open, innocent, humble. Nung ipinaliwanag ni Jesus ang tungkol sa pagmamahal, tanggapin nyo gaya ng bata. Don't be like an adult because what's an adult? Stubborn, proud, envious. Unlike a child, innocent, pure, open, creative. Sisters and brothers, it's not too late for us to get together and have this mindset of love who is God. Hindi pa huli ang lahat. Love will always become the image of God because that's who He is. And that's my appeal to you. Kayo mga narito, kayo mga nakikinig, mga magulang, mga lolo't lola, what kind of world are we leaving to our children? What kind of legacy are we leaving before them? If we believe in love, then we teach them the true meaning of love. How to fall in love? Look at the God who is love. Look at Jesus as the image of love. Find love in the person of Jesus himself. Amen. We profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us man and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Today's readings have enabled us to appreciate the sacredness of marriage and its vital role in God's plan for humanity. Let us now pray for all families in the world and say, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That all Catholic faithful may appreciate the sacredness of marriage and defend it against all attacks and deviations. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us that all couples who are experiencing a crisis in their relationship may be able to overcome all difficulties through prayer and the concern for their children. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That all our families may mirror the holiness of the family of Nazareth and become an inspiration to all. 
Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That all teachers may appreciate their God-given vocation and actualize it with wisdom and love. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For an end to the pandemic, let the sick be healed, especially our beloved Archbishop Jose, that those who care for them be strengthened and help us all to persevere in faith and charity. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. May I ask you to pray for the person beside you. You may never know the person, but allow yourself at this moment to become Jesus for him or her. Know that he or she needs God's grace at this moment. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord our God, in your plan for humanity, you wanted every family to be a sacrament of your fruitful love. Grant all families the abundance of your grace and the consolation of your presence. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now share our love offering as we continue our celebration with the liturgy of the Eucharist. sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept O Lord we pray the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, creator of the world and source of all life, for you never forsake the works of your wisdom, but by your providence are even now at work in our midst. With mighty hand and outstretched arm, you led your people Israel through the desert. Now, as your church makes her pilgrim journey in the world, you always accompany her by the power of the Holy Spirit and lead her along the paths of time to the eternal joy of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. And so, with the angels and saints, we too sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
For those who cannot kneel, please put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. Sisters and brothers, our kneeling, bowing of our heads, placing of hands on our chest, they are but external signs of internal disposition. It is our way of surrendering before the Lord our way of acknowledging that Jesus is with us at this moment. I beg of you, surrender to the love of Jesus for you at this moment. Allow Jesus to touch you, to grant you strength, to heal your broken relationships, to heal your aching heart to heal your broken body. Surrender to the loving power of God's presence. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. You may now join your hands in prayer. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, may we be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, 
as we walk your ways with faith and hope. May we strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters of fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ. We pause for a while. We remember the names of the souls of our beloved departed. We pray for them in this Mass. Welcome them and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when an earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and martyrs, with St. Lazarus, St. Anthony, St. John Marie Vianney, St. Therese of the Child Jesus, St. John Paul II, St. Padre Pio, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Taught by Jesus to call God our Father, full of love and confidence, we pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit we offer to one another the peace of christ peace be with you Sisters and brothers, behold Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, our life, our eternal life. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am I'm not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under my life. roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all kneel and let us pray the Horatio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health and mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sisters and brothers, it's month of October na, and it's the month of the Holy Rosary. I urge you, pray the Rosary as a family. It is one way of strengthening your family ties, especially nowadays that family do face so much many struggles and challenges. And even our society tries to destroy the meaning and the reality of a family. Wag nating hayaan po yon sa loob ng tahanan. Sama-sama tayo magdasal. Pray the rosary as a family. And so, how to fall in love? Paano nga ba? First, go back to its original meaning. And its original meaning is that God is love. Be ready to sacrifice. Love is not love without sacrifice. And last of all, commit. Commit yourself into that love which you have decided. Love is a decision. Love is a choice that we must make every day. At the end of it all, fall in love over and over again. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down. Pray for God's blessing. Be near to those who call upon you, O Heavenly Father, and graciously grant your protection to all who place their hope in your mercy, that they may remain faithful in holiness of life, and having enough for their needs in this world, May they be made full heirs of your promise for eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you and your family forever. Amen. Our Eucharist has been offered. Go, proclaim God's love and goodness joyfully in your daily life. Thanks be to God. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Ingatan kayo ng Panginoon sa inyong paglalakbay. Please be seated.